everybody, I'm Rose from Cheap Lazy Vegan and I'm here to present this episode of Plant-Based News. <laughs> Ethical veganism is now legally recognized in Ontario, Canada. Woohoo! That's right, the Human Rights Commission of Ontario deems veganism an ideology with similar discrimination protection rights as other belief systems. Now, on a side note, I don't really agree with calling veganism an ideology or a belief system because let's be serious, since when did being against abuse, torture, and cruelty become an ideology. We don't call anti-racism an ideology. We don't call anti-sexism an ideology. So I don't think we should call veganism an ideology, but I'll stop being cynical for a second because this is still very good news. So in Ontario, Canada, vegans are now legally protected against discrimination. For instance, this means that hospitals must provide vegan meals upon request. Employers are not allowed to discriminate against employees who refuse to wear animal product-based uniforms. Also, schools cannot obligate students to dissect animals. Why is that even going on still in the first place? Anyways, good on you fellow Canadians, we are taking a step in the right direction. In other news from Canada, slaughterhouses can't seem to find people to do their dirty work for them. I wonder why. Meat production facilities report a shortage of 1,000 slaughterhouse workers, despite the slumping economy. Jobs are hard to find, but people still refuse to work at a slaughterhouse. Meat companies simply cannot find enough Canadians willing to work on the kill floor or to carve beef and pork carcasses. But it's natural and it's the circle of life, right? The meat industry reveals that they have people walk away after a couple of hours. Now to be honest with you, I'm pretty surprised they last that long. It's no surprise that slaughterhouses are finding a hard time finding workers because slaughterhouse work is anything but glamorous and is supposed to be very, very traumatizing. In fact, it's reported that slaughterhouse workers often experience a form of post-traumatic stress disorder known as perpetuation-induced traumatic stress or PITS or P-I-T-S. PITS results from situations in which the sufferer was a causal participant in a traumatic event. Symptoms include depression, dissociation, paranoia, anxiety, panic, drug and alcohol abuse, and dreams of violence. It's natural to eat meat, isn't it? Now the unfortunate part of all of this is that Canada is now permitting incoming Syrian refugees to take these sort of jobs under the country's new express entry program. Obviously the choice to take the job or not is up to the Syrian refugees, but let's be honest, if you are a refugee and you are desperate for a place to live and work, would you refuse a job that comes your way? Probably not. Is it ethical to do this? I don't know. Now, dear fellow Canadians, please ask yourselves, if you are so unwilling to work at a slaughterhouse, and if you would even be mentally traumatized from working at a slaughterhouse, why is it okay for you to pay someone else to do the dirty work for you? On to the next story. There is a free program that helps people go vegan by matching them with mentors. How awesome is that? Anyone that's interested in living a more veg-friendly or vegan-friendly lifestyle can sign up to be a mentee through Vegan Outreach's Vegan Mentor Program and almost immediately be matched with a mentor via email. This mentor can pretty much help you with anything and everything regarding veganism, such as grocery shopping or even answering difficult questions. It is a 100% free program and any mentee that signs up will be matched with a mentor within 24 hours. Again, it's pretty amazing. So don't forget to visit Vegan Outreach's website either to sign up as a mentor or a mentee. Josh Tetrick, CEO of vegan startup Hampton Creek, aka Super Hot Vegan Dude, was on mainstream news recently talking about how his company is studying the different unexplored plant flavors that can be used as ingredients in plant-based meat alternative food products. Jim, there are 400,000 species of plants out there, and you got to ask yourself why 92% of them haven't been looked at to make your food better. And we got a team of data scientists led by a guy that used to lead Google Maps and YouTube's data team, biochemists, computational biologists, phenomenal chefs and food scientists that find the best of them. Awesome. By the way, Josh, 
Now on to quick news. Wendy's introduces a new vegan burger option in select locations. This burger is simply called the Black Bean Burger and is made with wild rice, brown rice, farro, onions, carrots, corn, red and green bell peppers, and is served on a toasted seven grain vegan bun with tomato and spring mix. Does that not sound mouthwatering? Next breaking news, the Ringling Brothers that are notorious for using elephants in their circus shows have now finally announced that they will retire its elephants by May 2016. This originally was announced in March 2015 that they would phase out their elephant acts over the next three years due to growing public concern and media attention regarding how the circus elephants are treated. And now it's actually happening faster than we thought, I guess, even though I still think it happened very slowly since it's 2016. But once again, I'm going to try to be nice and say good on you, Ringling Brothers. And last but not least, Las Vegas is the latest city to ban retail sales of puppies and kittens. This is pretty great news. Best Friends Animal Society is pleased to announce that more than 100 communities across the United States have enacted legislation banning the retail sale of commercially bred puppies and kittens, with Las Vegas being the most recent city to join in this fast growing trend, which is super awesome. And obviously more and more people, more and more communities need to join in on this because there is no need to continuously breed animals in order to sell them because animals are not ours to buy and sell. They are living, breathing, sentient beings and loving them is different from treating them like a material good. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking now. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Klaus, for letting me present the plant-based news on this awesome channel. Make sure you subscribe to Plant-Based News and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.